Well, hello on this Wednesday. Uh, we continue to be in this bizarre pattern that is not unheard of. A lot of people asked if this is really unusual to have everything move east to west. It does happen whenever we have a high pressure to our north, low pressure to our south. And uh, it, the length of this has been odd because of that system that's been slowly moving away from us and giving us uh, the flooding in Michigan, uh, which we'll be talking more about after I do our local weather. And uh, we'll also have an update on uh, the cyclone that is hitting India and Bangladesh. But I wanted to show you this first because uh, you can see the uh, flow of air here. Basically, our air is coming all the way from New York City today. Not very often that we get air all the way from the Atlantic all the way to the Rockies, but that is uh, what has been happening. And uh, wow, what a day, huh? We got rid of those clouds, lots of sunshine out there today. If you're in western Minnesota, it was your turn for the clouds. They had the sun actually the last couple of days. Uh, we'll zoom in on the satellite imagery here a little bit and you can see all the red numbers. If you can read those, so you're watching the sensors, our automated weather sensors in real time, all in the mid to upper 70s. In fact, we have uh, 78 in St. Paul uh, at the airport, 76 so far. These are as of uh, between 4 and 5 p.m., but a lot of places getting close to 80 actually, Red Wing down here is sitting at 79 at this hour and yeah beautiful sunshine of course everybody wants to know what's going to happen for the weekend yeah it is memorial weekend so we're gonna have the sun clear skies the rest of the evening into tonight yeah you see nothing but clear skies but if you're gonna be out early tomorrow you'll see some sun and then the clouds are gonna fill back in pretty quickly tomorrow so more clouds than sunshine for your thursday might clear out again a little bit tomorrow night might see some early morning sun friday and then uh, more clouds filling in for the afternoon friday and we're going to be in and out of the clouds here through the weekend. Uh, not going to be a horrible weekend, though. There have been worse. There have been colder and wetter Memorial weekends, but I can't guarantee you a dry and sunny holiday weekend. But uh, we'll try to pinpoint which days look the worst. Friday looks, I think, mostly dry for us in eastern Minnesota. That includes northeastern Minnesota. But we'll start to see some very isolated showers, a couple thunderstorms during the day in western Minnesota. This is uh, through the morning hours Friday. This is all very hit and miss, all very light amounts, if anything. And then maybe into Friday night, Saturday, we could start to see some stuff move into the metro and the eastern part of the state. So there is going to be a west-east divide in precip here. So very hit and miss. This is I'm toggling back and forth between morning and afternoon on Saturday as far as the precip goes. Sunday looks like potentially, maybe, a little bit uh, better chance of seeing some stuff. But again, it's going to be very hit and miss in nature. We're not talking about either day being particularly wet. So still would go to the cabin, still would make outdoor plans. Just be aware there are going to be these hit and miss showers and thunderstorms. Looks mostly dry Friday. Uh, a couple isolated storms possible later in the day, Saturday. Sunday may be the better chance of hit and miss shower and thunderstorm activity. Still warm, though, in the 70s. And then Memorial Day itself is looking dry with a uh, little more sunshine as well. All right, we have a couple of big weather stories around the world today. We'll start uh, closer to our neighborhood um, in Michigan, where they got just pummeled by rainfall. Um, many of you probably heard of this, uh, a dam breaking uh, around Midland, Michigan, kind of in the right in the center of the lower peninsula part of Michigan. Uh, they got uh, 10 feet of water above flood stage. And these are looking at some of the rainfall totals. Same system that gave us all that weekend rain, but this system slowed down even more. We talked about that the last couple of days, and that allowed this thing to just kind of soak Michigan. Uh, Ogre, Michigan, 8.1 inches of rain. You can see a lot of places getting 4 to 8 inches of rain. Just obviously overwhelming uh, the system. And here's a look at some video from uh, the New York Times and Associated Press. So obviously we can see uh, just immense flooding, partly because of that dam breaking, but just there's a ton of water that fell over that area. So an emergency situation in Michigan uh, right now and uh, until that water level goes down. The good news is that system is finally done raining over Michigan right now. Another big story, uh, India, we've been talking about uh, a cyclone Amfam, which has made landfall and uh, hitting right in between the uh, India-Bangladesh border. The strongest cyclone to hit the Bay of Bengal and right now is a Category 2 storm. So it did weaken from Category 4 to 2, still about 100 mile per hour uh, winds. And this is a radar loop uh, as it's made landfall a little bit earlier. And uh, flooding is always an issue, of course, with these systems. So 
Uh, that is going to be a concern as well as uh, the things we always see with these tropical systems, storm surge, and of course the wind. And, uh, you know, obviously in a poor area that's also in a lockdown because of COVID-19. And uh, here's some video from, again, the New York Times and Associated Press of uh, the storm there. So you can see yeah, winds uh, flooding. Uh, and this is kind of a low-lying area anyways. If you're familiar with uh, Bangladesh's weather, they get a lot of flooding because it is pretty flat there and they have the normal monsoon season. So you throw a tropical system into the mix and uh, this is definitely a, a severe situation there. So a little closer to home. We'll take a look at the seven day again and you can see uh, the news for the weekend is getting a little better as we get closer to it.